the survive. Yeah, that was uh, th- th- that was yeah. yeah the, the press, Jim Brady, the press secretary. <laughs> well, that day at the George Washington University Center when Reagan came out for the Brady Law, a lot of Republicans were yeah. upset about that. I can't figure out why, but uh, that was a big day for him to do that. And then when she came out strong for funding for Alzheimer's. She, Nancy, was a fighter. And, and she did make a difference on Alzheimer's. She made a difference on a drug, alcohol and drug abuse. All of us remember yeah. her Just Say No campaign that really was significant uh, in, in affecting millions and millions of people's lives. Any final thoughts, uh, Larry, before I let you go about Nancy yeah. Reagan and uh, her passing? I'll miss her. I love socializing with her. I love gossiping with her. I love talking with her. And uh, I'm, I'm glad she isn't around. If there's one thing glad about this, she isn't around to see the end of this political year. Because she was very upset by it. This must be tough for you, Wolf. I, I, I well, feel for you. Well, Nancy Reagan uh, was a wonderful, wonderful woman. She lived a wonderful life, 94 years old. Uh, is a good life, but it's still very sad uh, to, to know that we don't have her. But these statements, Larry, that are coming in from world leaders, uh, I'm getting statements uh, from the former president of Israel, Shimon Peres, uh, issuing a statement. Uh, it's only just beginning the remembrance of Nancy Reagan and the unique role she played in American history. Uh, Larry, thanks as usual for joining us. I know this is a sad time for you. Uh, uh, Larry uh, Larry King joining us from Los Angeles. Thank you. Talking to Wolf. Larry King spent a lot of quality time with Nancy Reagan over the years, and all of us who watch those interviews on Larry King Live right here on CNN will always remember those uh, interviews. Let's take a quick break. Much more on Nancy Reagan when we come back. Did he like writing? He loved writing. Letters, too. The last of the letter writers. The letters, yes. And isn't it sad? No. He wouldn't have been an email guy. No, he wouldn't. (laughs) No. But isn't it sad now that nobody writes anymore? No. I mean, this, of course, is a diary that's out of the question. Nobody's going to do that. 